Hey, welcome to another video, and I'm here with my sister and nephew today at Liverpool and El Naripi no less. So we're going to take a look at another Beatles song today. I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so let's take a look at Eleanor Rigby. Now, I shouldn't really have to sing this one for you. I think it's universally known, pretty much. Although, I dare say I will touch on some of it just to give you a kind of idea. Now, the song is very simple, in essence. But like I often say, you know, you can take it much further than, you know, the basics of it. But it's always a good idea to start with the basics and then take it on from there. And indeed, that's what I've been doing lately. It's not a tune I've typically played and I'm kind of working on an arrangement of my own at the moment, a finger-picked version. So this kind of illustrates that, you know, although it's a simple song, you can actually take it somewhere and make it really quite something. Okay, so without further ado, the chords in the song are just simply a C major. Now, whereas your standard C, just starts from the fifth, yeah? We, we add that G in the bass, which is the sixth string, third fret. Okay? So you got that chord of C. Then you have an E minor. And you know that is the bulk of it. E minor and C, and C in that form. Now the only other thing to bear in mind is you have this kind of progression which you'll be familiar with. If you play the E minor, with your second and third finger, like so. You have the section where this little finger comes on the third fret, second string, second fret, second string, first fret, second string, and just an open E minor. Okay, so if you're just looking to play it in its very most basic kind of form, it starts with the chorus in a sense, that kind of look at all the lonely people I look at all the lonely people Yeah, so it's all downstrokes and it just starts in C Now you can just play single like that when you're starting out kind of idea yeah so let me show you how that would go in you know just to put it to practical use as it were so it starts with a chorus I look at all the lonely people be in its very simplest form yeah now you can probably spice it up by kind of doubling on the or, or on that strumming pattern okay so rather than this kind of feel you could play more of a notice again I'm dampening yeah I do that quite a bit so you're probably familiar with that if you've watched a few of my videos already okay so just my doubling up that kind of strum so once you got that first one sorted just the straight then you can move on perhaps to the So it would be
church where a wedding has been Lives in a dream, waits at the window Wearing a face that she keeps in a jar by the door Who is it for? Yeah, so I'm just really doubling it up a little bit. I'm just trying to vamp it up a little bit, give it a little bit of pace. And that's what doubling up like that does. Yeah. So that in essence, is a couple of ways of playing the song, yeah? Starting out with a very simple way, and moving on to something just a little bit more pacey and a little bit of a push to it. So as I say, the things to, re to remember perhaps are that it starts with a chorus, C. Look at all the lonely people. So your E minor, and just repeats it. Ah, look at all the lonely people to your E minor and then for the verses it's just E minor I try and hear the changes and find your own way like I often say yeah make it your own don't have to be exactly like what I'm doing or anything like that put as many you know you miss a few beats you'll add a few beats here and there that's what it's all about trying to make it your own okay now like I say or it is a simple song but we've already moved it on a little bit and this kind of dampened section with the E minor is quite nice if you play like a So we're letting that first beat ring out if you hear. Like so. Now, you know, as I say, you know, once you've got all those basics in place, you can always explore it further. You know, and then maybe look at the kind of finger pick inside of it, perhaps. So, as you can see, you can kind of make a whole lot more of the song, should you wish to. In fact, I think that is a kind of excellent bit of advice sometimes, to see once you've learned a tune, to see if you can pick out the melody. It, it really does wonders for your playing and, and your ears as well. Um, so that's always, a, that's kind of quite a good tip, I would say, to try and pick out the melody for the songs that you're learning. You'll become so much more familiar with all the notes across the fingerboard as well. So like I say, I'm not going to go into the details, too much details about the finger picking side of it. I mean, if there's enough demand from people, um, then I may take a look at it at some future point. I mean, it's just something that I've started fiddling with lately, as I say. It's not something that I've really completed in any sense. But there are a few things that you can kind of take from it. I'll give you kind of a few pointers. But, I mean, essentially, it's just still using those kind of chords. I mean, there's not much difference, you know, from that point of view. That's your C. 
Max to E minor. Same as what I was showing you before. Now, if you want to put in that little riff, which is kind of nice, it's just octaves. Okay, so that's the fourth string, second fret, and the second string, fifth fret. So you play it there, then you move it up to one, and then four. Okay, so you have, and you're back into that. So if you were finger picking it and looking to do it that way, all right? So that, as I say, is just an octave. If you were to play it slowly. That's what you're kind of looking for. And the bass is just, It's just for the same. So just as a guide, yeah, as I say, I won't go into the whole detail. If there's enough requests for a finger pick version, then I'll come back and take a look at it, okay? I'm just trying to give you a little bit of sugar here to kind of once you've played the basics of it, you can put some of these little things in. Uh, another section is is where it's um I look at all the lonely people now you can play that's kind of quite a nice little lick perhaps to just put in to make it you know a little bit more to it so you got C I look at all the lonely people and that's just third string open and then hammer on and play the second string open so you have and it's just second string open for all those other notes so you have hammer on on the third second fret okay so you got then open second open third and second That's fourth string, fourth fret, and fourth string, second fret. All right, so you have. add a little bit of interest if you like you know should you want to kind of do something with that now I won't go into too much detail about all these extra riffs and everything like that just see how you get on with the basics of it and I hope it's been of some help to you and uh, I, I always appreciate feedback on these videos and should you wish to share any of these on your social media or anything like that please feel free to do so so thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon next time